Hello, I hope you're doing great. Today, we are going to see a small example on how you can maximize user interface utilization between MAUI Blazor applications and Blazor WASM applications. It can also probably be done with Blazor Server 2 and MAUI. So let's start. Before we continue, Please remember to visit fairplaytube.bdicostarica.com, click the Buy Me a Coffee icon, and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Okay, so if you have already worked with Blazor, you know that Blazor is a framework that allows you to reutilize most of your code and components. Blazor is designed as a component-based framework and since it uses .NET you can reutilize a lot of your code and components. .NET MAUI is a framework for creating cross-platform applications using .NET framework. And .NET MAUI Blazor is .NET MAUI allowing you to create your user interface with a lot of Blazor code. So it means that you can effectively reutilize even more of your code if you have an existing application in Blazor WebAssembly and you want to create a MAUI Blazor application or if you want to create basically if you want to create the mobile application for your original Blazor WASM or web application right so today we are going to see a small example on how you can do that Okay, so here we have Visual Studio. In here we have three projects. We have the Share Pages, the Maui Blazor application, and the Blazor Web Assembly application. You will see that both the Blazor WASM application and the MAUI Blazor application are missing the pages and the shared folder. That is because those elements are currently in this project, which is being used by both of these applications. So basically what you do is you create a new Razor class library project. You create your pages folder in there. You create your share folder in there, right? And you start adding your code. Your code. Now you need to also add the underscore imports, right? And add the corresponding imports that will be used among your application. This is in the shared project. Okay. Now, in the project that is referencing this other project, which has your pages, you need to do one thing. You need to go to the Razor file where your router is defined right and you need to add this attribute to the router element or component additional assemblies and you need to pass an array of the additional assemblies that will be understood or registered by the router so in here i want to get the assembly where this component is created which is under here 
sharepages.share.mainlayout is basically this component and I am getting the assembly corresponding to the title of this project which will be the assembly for this project to the, the assembly that I get from the type right uh, it will give me a type and that type will have an assembly that assembly will be the um, this project or the assembly for this project okay now in some cases if it doesn't really uh, you will in some cases you will get like an error saying that the main layout is not found right so in those cases you may want to add the using in here right you need to add those usings too in the underscore imports if you're going to have other things in here that use all of that in your maui application you pretty much need to do the same you go to the main dot razor and you need to add the additional assembly and you see that we added the same assembly in there that will basically be what you need to do to be able to reutilize your pages in both of your frameworks so if you see in here i have this app which is the mobile in here i have the app which is the mobile app right and then i am going to change to show you the application running in it let me see if we can see it this is the application running in Microsoft Edge now if I go to Visual Studio and I change something like the index and I change this running on the following platform this is the current platform running the application I save and if we go back to the web application you will see that it refresh with the changes that I did in there now this one hasn't refreshed yet however if I go to counter and I go back to home you see that this already refresh I believe this is because I am running multiple um, I am running both applications at the same time and I'm not sure if Hot Reload uh, works correctly in that way with the Maui applications. Okay, um, so as you saw, this is basically the same UI in both projects. Now, there are other things that you may want to do you see that in here this says wing UI and in the web application it actually said web right so if we go back to Visual Studio there are some tips that you need to know and that it's better to do so when you are using Maui or basically when you are creating a cross-platform application that is also going to have a um, web assembly project or a Blazor um, project and you want to reutilize your 
user interface. There may be a lot of platform specific things that you need to do. So when you are using this strategy or when you want to maximize or take advantage of this uh, approach, it is extremely recommended that you make lots of use of dependency injection and that you put pretty much everything in interfaces, right? As you can see in here, I have this interface in the shared project, which is iPlatform service. The only thing that this has is a method signature named get platform info, which will return a string. Now, if I go to the WebAssembly project, you will see that in here I have this services folder and I have the custom implementation for the iPlatform service inside my Placer WebAssembly project. And I'm just returning a hard coded string which says web. In the program.cs, I am specifying which, con which concrete type it's going to be instantiated when I inject this interface. This interface is injected in the code behind for the index page in the other project, in the shared project, as you can see in here. And now in my MAUI application, I have also this services class implementing this interface. And in this case, I am returning the device info current platform to string. And I am registering the concrete type for this I platform service. You see this one comes from Maui Blazor Services Platform Service, which is basically this class. So I am using the interface in my um, shared project. It has no knowledge of the specific platform and the actual platform project will be the one in charge for those specific things. Now, this is a silly example where you get the idea. It is extremely recommended that when you are using uh, user interface utilization this way, you use a lot of dependency injection. Thank you very much. I hope this video has been useful. And please remember, visit fairplay2.pdicostarica.com Click the Buy Me a Coffee icon and select a donation of your preference. This will help us keep the videos and products free for you. Have a good day.